guys, welcome to Vlogmas day two. Again, it's kind of late, it's like the afternoon, I'm sorry. I went to bed at 4 a.m. last night. Probably fell asleep at like 5 a.m. I stayed up a little too late editing my videos. If you guys uh, haven't noticed, I posted a video on my Japan channel yesterday as well. It's a video where my homestay mom was teaching me some Japanese. And there's also a really creepy ghost noise in the video, so if you guys could go and listen to that and tell me if you think it's just like feedback from the mic or actually a ghost, let me know because I've never heard a noise like that appear in my videos and it really creeped me out when I heard it. Anyways, um, I'm gonna tidy up the house a little bit and then me and my fiance are going out to buy a new hair straightener because I need one and I'm really scared because <laughs> when my other one stopped working yesterday, I kind of freaked out because without one my hair looks like a disaster. I don't have naturally smooth hair. <laughs> you guys, Morrow's cuddling with my BJD right now and it's so cute. <laughs> I see he's also been chewing on her sneakers, but he's cute so I'll let that pass. Are you comfortable? <laughs> The weather is amazing today, so I gotta do the laundry today. I base my laundry days on how the weather is because we always hang them out to dry. However, our um, shower room does have a dryer. <laughs> you can hang the clothes in here and it will suck all the moisture out of the air and add some heat as well. So they do dry pretty well in here, but I would prefer not to use it and dry them by the sunlight. So. That's what I'm doing this morning. So we didn't make it to the hair place in time. <laughs> so we're gonna go do some Christmas shopping instead. Not that we're outside and in the car. <laughs> oh well, maybe we'll go tomorrow. I hope so. My hair can handle another day without a strainer. What I found at the dollar store, their little mini chalkboard stickers. That would have been really cute for my jars. Too bad I just found them now. I could probably find some other use for them though. Oh, these are so adorable. These are little chalkboards too. What do I need today Yokata? I just bought a new garbage can the other day. These ones are way cuter. Darn. Cat storage boxes, DVDs. I don't think I have any DVDs. This one's really small. I could use it for makeup or something. Hmm, tempting. Look what they have. I've been looking for something like this forever. It's a little wooden background, like for remints or something. That's really neat. I'm gonna get some of those for my friend because I know she has little miniature remints and stuff. I think she could use that. These teas look yummy. It's just like pure lavender, pure chamomile. Kawaija. They're selling Christmas cakes made by the Kawaii Monster Cafe. I thought it was cute. I was wondering why it was so cute. Wow. Okay, we're at Dyson now. We're gonna grab a couple more things and then we're gonna go grocery shopping. I don't know what we're making for dinner. He's gonna go to a friend's house. I'm just gonna be by myself. I kinda just wanna eat cereal, but we'll see. Daiso has this really cute like collaboration with um, Girls Trend. I don't know what it is. It must be a brand or something, but they have like Really cute stationary <laughs> hats and stuff. I love the colors. What the hell is this? Look guys, these bowls were made in Aizu, <laughs> where I just came back from. I think I'm gonna get another blanket for Maro because he gets cold really easily. I got him two already, <laughs> but it doesn't seem to be enough. Maybe this one. These little chopstick holders are so cute. Little dango. Oh, they have these ones too. Ite. Shichimi toka? Yakumi ire. This is so cute. It's for like little spices. Oh my god. Cotton dust. The appearance of monsters to catch. Oh, this is pretty big. For a dollar store blanket. It was three dollars, but still a good price. There you go, Maro. He looks intrigued, but not intrigued enough to want to jump in right away. <laughs> Come on. You'll like it. You're cold always.
to vacuum. Your hair is all over the place. What is that? We stopped at the bakery on the way home and got some Ichigo Daifuku. Have I ever showed these to you guys? They're uh, mochi with strawberry and I think there's anko on the in the inside bean paste. I'll cut one open later and show it to you guys. I can eat those for dessert. I still don't know what I'm doing for dinner yet. I'm actually not that hungry really. I just had leftover soup. <laughs> Check these out guys. The other dollar store that we went to had these little room set up things too. A cafe, a clothing shop, and then this um, kitchen one. So I got those as well for my friend. I hope she likes them. These are really neat. I was looking for something exactly like this to set up my uh, remints before. So hopefully she likes it too. She, maybe she can use it in videos. You'll see who they're for. I'm gonna be meeting her next week. I'll keep it a surprise until then. So four friends and family members have birthdays coming up in the next a uh, couple weeks actually, in the next like two weeks. So cut her, uh, cut her in the tape. Story of my life. So I'm wrapping lots of presents tonight. <laughs> I need to put like little letters on them so that I remember which one's for who because I have so many gifts right now that are wrapped like in between birthdays and Christmas. It's kind of ridiculous. It's super confusing. I hope I don't mess up and give someone the wrong present. They're all pretty cool stuff though, so I guess it wouldn't really matter. <laughs> Ta -da! One down, 36 to go. What is this? Okay, I have wrapped and prepared some of my presents. <laughs> I've got about half of them wrapped now. I really wish I could show you guys what's in them. It's really hard for me to like hold it in and not tell you. I really wanted to show you what I was shopping for today, but that's okay. You guys will get to see it when my friends open them up. So look forward to that. Luna's enjoying her hair tie in the background there. How far are you guys on your Christmas present shopping and wrapping? Are you bad like me and like nowhere near done yet? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what the strawberry daifuku looks like now. Ichigo daifuku. These are so good. You can buy these at bakeries and um, wagashiya, Japanese sweet shops and grocery stores. Sorry about the keyboard clicking in the background. He's playing a video game. This is what it looks like inside. So the darker red stuff is sweet bean paste. And then a whole strawberry. And then the outside is just squished rice. Squished mochi rice. Mm -hmm. These are really good with green tea. I should have made some green tea. Oh well. I'm just going through the comments on yesterday's vlog. You guys left so many comments. It's really nice reading them all. Um, this is a good one. What do Japanese people do for Christmas? Do they give gifts? Um, yes, but in a different way than we do in say Canada. <laughs> I'm assuming like in America you guys do it how we do in Canada as well where you give like several gifts, especially if you're like the child in the family, you'll get lots of gifts from your parents. Um, whereas in Japan, it's usually just one gift and often uh, like couples will give gifts to each other. Why Why do you choose now to scratch? What are we talking about? Distractions. It's usually couples that give gifts to each other on Christmas. Christmas is kind of like similar to Valentine's Day, I guess. It's like kind of a romantic holiday here. Um, so you can expect to get a present from your boyfriend or girlfriend. It's really not like how it is in Canada where you would set up a Christmas tree and in the morning there'd be lots of gifts for everybody underneath the tree. If anything, it's usually one gift that like your parents will give to you or your boyfriend or girlfriend will give to you, something like that. In Japan, when I think of Christmas, I think of light displays. Japan does an amazing job at light displays. I'm gonna try to go to a couple during Vlogmas, so hopefully I can show them to you guys. So I can find some new ones that I've never been to before, but like honestly, they do an amazing job of them here. So I really hope I can show them to you. Okay. Um. Oh god, there's so many questions. It's so hard to pick. <laughs> oh, there's lots of questions about the cat feeders, both Maro's and Luna's. So 
They both have different purposes. Uh, this is Luna's feeder. This is called an interactive feeder, and I guess it's because the cats need to like do something to get the food out. But this is because Luna's a pig and she will scarf down her food so fast that it makes her throw up. But if she has this, it makes her eat slowly because she has to dig them out like one at a time and like work them out of the tray thingy before she can eat them. So this is really great for pets that are just pigs and shove all their food in their face as soon as you give it to them. This has been amazing. I feel like she's a lot healthier now that she's not doing that. She doesn't throw up anymore. And it was rather cheap on Amazon. I forget how much it was, but I know that it was very affordable. I'll try and find the link for you guys. And then Morrow's is a microchip sensor feeder. So it only opens for Morrow. Both Morrow and Luna have microchips inserted in them behind their ear, I think? I'm not quite sure. Um, but it only, it reads Morrow's microchip and it will open up when he goes near it. But if Luna goes near it, it won't open up. So as soon as Morrow leaves the food dish, the lid will close down so that Luna can't get into his food because she would eat her food and then she'd run over and eat all of Morrow's food. And Morrow's so nice that he would like get out of the way and like let her eat it all and just sit there and watch her. So that's why I had to get those just because Luna's like a giant pig. You guys. So Taylor's vlogmas number one is up now. So go watch that if you haven't watched it yet. So Taylor was the one calling me all day. It wasn't the TV people. It was such a fluke because the TV people have been harassing me for the past two days before that happened. And I just assumed it was them calling from a different number so that I would answer. And I'm so glad that it was Taylor. <laughs> I'm glad and frustrated at the same time because I was angry all day because I thought it was them and I was getting so mad every time they phoned me. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> that was a good one, Taylor. Even though you didn't get to prank me in the way that you planned to, you still got me good because I was pissed off all day. Just ask my friend that I was hanging out with. <laughs> I was like bitching every time the call came in. Blair asks, what metal bands do you like? Gojita is my all-time favorite band. Check them out if you haven't. Even check them out if you don't like metal because they're just freaking awesome and I feel like anybody would be able to appreciate their music. Someone uh, asked a question about my mailing address and I figure I'll answer it here in case you guys have the same question. They asked if they need to write the full mailing address when they send something like everything that I have written in the description box. Yes, please include the part that says Sharla care of breaker because if you don't include that, sometimes they won't let it into the building. Like it needs to have a name of the company on the package. It's they're really like particular about mail in Japan. So if you just if you write the address um, just how it looks in the description box, starting with the Sharla C slash O breaker and then the rest of the address all the way down to where it says Japan, include Japan as well so they know what country it's going to, uh, you'll be fine, yeah. And so many people are asking where I get my cute uh, shirts from. I was wearing my Animal Crossing shirt yesterday. They're all from suckeredapparel.com. I will put the link right here so you guys know how to spell it. If you had to own a third cat, but it couldn't be the same colors as Luna and Mara. What type of cat aesthetic would you lean towards? <laughs> you know me well, you know that I would pick a gray one. Okay, so if it uh, couldn't be the same colors as Luna and Mara, I would actually go with a creamy colored calico. I don't know what, I don't know if that's what you call it. It's like a calico cat, so like a three colored cat, but it's creamy colors. I've seen a couple cats that look like that and oh my God, they're so beautiful. Oh, another question that I need to answer to all of you. I answered it in the comments, but I'll answer it here again. Yes, the giveaway is open worldwide. As long as I can send a package to where you are, I will do it. So I don't care what country you're in, so don't worry about that. And also, I had a Japanese viewer comment and say that they um, wouldn't comment on any videos because they don't want to like take away the prize from, because they're Japanese, they felt bad like if they won the prize because the things are from Japan, they would rather um, someone from outside of the country won it. But don't worry, I feel like if you're Japanese, you can uh, enjoy the presents as well because they're things that I picked up from all over Japan. So I, I hope they will be enjoyable for a Japanese person as well, if a Japanese person happens to win. So yeah, don't worry about that. That was really kind of you to like offer it uh, to everyone else. But please, please feel free to enter if you would like to. I want this to be open uh, to all my viewers. I would just like to say that I'm so amazed that there are 
2,198 comments on yesterday's vlog and not one of them was rude in the slightest to either me or anyone else in the comments. Like you guys are seriously the best audience on YouTube and I feel so thankful for that. Actually, I think that was one of the questions. I swear I was reading through the comments this morning. One of them was, what are you most thankful for? I would just like to say that I am so thankful that you guys are such a nice, kind audience. I've had a couple assholes on my channel. I'm sure you've seen them in the comments and I try to block them because I get really angry when people start arguing with each other and like being rude to each other in the comments. So I block lots of people. Um, but in general, you guys are all freaking amazing. So thank you so much. And I feel so happy um, to have a group of people like you commenting on my videos because I read all the comments. I read every single one and it's just so nice to have such positive, happy things to read every day. Like I can only imagine if I had the audience that some other YouTubers had, I would probably stop reading my comments. So thanks guys, you're, you're seriously really cool. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. For now, if you didn't get your question answered, feel free to ask it again on this vlog and hopefully I will answer it on the next one. I wish I could answer more. I wanna answer all your questions. So this video would end up being an hour long. You guys would probably stop watching, so I should probably stop talking. I'm gonna go wrap some more presents because I still have lots of presents to wrap. And then I'm gonna start editing this video a little earlier than I did yesterday. So hopefully I can get into bed before 4 a.m. It's midnight now, so pray for me. Please remember to give this vlog a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down. Um, let me know what you thought and I will see you guys tomorrow for day three. Bye.